love you. A little bit warm this morning, huh? How you feeling? Still kind of sick? Oh. I love you. Mom got her fuzzy robe on, huh? So cozy. I love you. So the biggest update is that little man is now walking. He started walking in like the middle of December. Woo! You okay? Oh my goodness. On our family trip to the Dominican Republic. So I'll tell you guys about that a little bit later. I have his breakfast set up. I forgot to run the dishwasher last night, so we have waffles, oranges, and milk. But let's see if he'll come over. Noah, are you ready for breakfast? He's like very excited about his cars because he hasn't played with those in a long time. Noah, are you ready for waffles and almond butter? <gasps> Noah, and oranges, are you ready for breakfast? Are you hungry? Maybe he's not hungry yet. Okay. I just washed my face and put on some lotion and I'm gonna get ready while Noah eats breakfast. I already ate breakfast this morning. As you guys saw, do you want some water? Okay, I started filming while getting ready, hoping that I could like chat with you guys while getting ready, but that did not go well because I just have a hard time multitasking. So I just put on, I'll show you guys what I used. I used First Aid Beauty, um, little like under eye, I wouldn't even call it concealer. It's just supposed to, geez, this is not focusing very well. It's just supposed to like eliminate dark circles and bags and whatnot. It's instantly brighten, depuff, and smooth. And I have super puffy eyes in the morning. So use that under my eyes. I use a little tiny bit of Bare Minerals powder on my face, not a lot, like minimal, minimal. I used a brush to put blush on my cheeks. I didn't have any like blush rouge out here. So whatever was left over on here, made it to my cheeks. And then whatever was left over on my eyeshadow brush, I used to fill in, not really, my eyebrows. <laughs> and then I used, um, this Anastasia clear brow gel I got in a Vox box from Influencer for free. If you don't do Influencer, you should. And yeah, got this for free. So use this to, it's just clear brow gel. So it kind of just like holds your brows in place, makes them look more defined. And then I used Revlon, got this from my sister for free. Thanks sis, cause she didn't use it. Big Bad Lash by Revlon. That's what I did today. So. I've been going like super minimal. I actually hadn't worn makeup in like two weeks and it was really nice. And then I think yesterday was the first day I put on mascara in a while. So anyways, you guys should see Noah. He's so cute. I love him so much. There's Noah eating his breakfast. You say hello. <gasps> Noah, can you say cracker? Good. Can you say apple? <laughs> I love you. He says so many things now. No, where's your heart? Good boy. Oh, I'm excited to show you guys him today. The point of this video is to update you guys, but also to film <coughs> a little man because he's growing so fast and I'm just gonna love watching these videos back. Right, mister? Yeah. Know what? The joy of the Lord is our strength. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah, a lot of times when I say that, he claps, yeah, exactly, good job. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I did not teach him to do that. He just claps when I say that. It's the cutest thing ever. Good boy, are you rejoicing in the Lord? Yeah, oh, you're so sweet. Jesus loves you, Noah. Yes, he does, he loves you. You are so loved. By mama, dada, Jesus, family, you're so loved. All right, we're gonna clean up Noah. Cutest little walker in all the world. He started walking in the Dominican Republic on our family vacation, which is so fun. 
because we were there with his three other cousins and two of them are walking. So I'm pretty sure he started walking to keep up with them. And he's only gotten better at walking since then. But yeah, so cute. It's so fun. Like, I don't know, people kind of talk negatively about your baby learning to walk, like not in a mean manner, but kind of like, wow, your life's really gonna change. And in some ways that's true, but it's changed so much for the better. Like, I think it's so fun that he's walking now and he can do so much more and is becoming so much more independent. And of course, with every change comes difficulties, but I don't know, to be honest, I'm loving it. So yeah, really fun that he's walking now. Okay, I just started a load of laundry and Noah is playing very happily. <laughs> So I'm gonna go put on some clothes and then get him dressed. And we're gonna go thrifting this morning. The thing about thrifting is you have to go super often or else you won't find everything you're looking for. So um, I went yesterday and I'm gonna go to a new store again tomorrow. And I found quite a few things yesterday actually. So that's always fun. But yeah, so I'm gonna get us ready and then we'll go. And um, I probably won't take you guys with me just because, I don't know, maybe I will, I don't know. Sometimes it's just a lot of work, but we'll see. And yeah, yesterday when I was thrifting, I found these two frames for $1.99 each in their eight by 10 frames. And I was gonna order some. I actually did get a couple for his playroom on Amazon, but they were $30 for two. And I was like, I have more prints that I wanna hang like in his room and around our home. By the way, I made these, these are on my Etsy shop. So if you like them, check out my Etsy shop. And this, it's kind of nice when you print it out because you can see what needs to be fixed. So this is thinner than this and it was really bothering me. So don't worry, this morning I fixed it and now if you purchase this, this is centered. So if you're looking at that and you're like, that's not centered, I agree, I fixed it, my bad. Um, but I've been very meticulous about the things I've created so I promise there are not mistakes like that on the prints. But anyway, um, yeah, so I found these for $4 each instead of 30, and I'm gonna hang those in his room. Ever since we moved into this house, at our last house, we had this really cute Etsy decal above his bed, and then this really sweet Bible verse above his changing table, but they were like decals that stick to the wall, so I couldn't take them to this house with us, and they cost like around $30 each, and so I figure if I make prints and then thrift frames, I can hang up art in his room for way cheaper, and still make his room look really nice. And we're gonna paint his room white this summer right now. It's this blue color, which is not bad, but I just don't like it. And I really miss his white room because the color scheme is navy blue and dark brown, which is such a handsome color scheme for a boy. Um, but then the tealish blue just does not look good with it. And the white, dark brown, and navy blue looked just great, so handsome. So we're gonna paint his room white during the summer. I really wanna do it now, but Luke had the good point that it's really like damp and rainy here and cold and it'll be so much easier during the summer to open up the windows and let the room air dry in one day so that he can sleep in his bed sooner instead of like having to sleep in a pack and play or something and then have the room not air dry very well. It'll like be really stinky and yeah, you guys get what I mean, but it's winter and it's the Pacific Northwest, so it's damp. We have a plant coming soon to go in that little basket over there that I think will be really cute. It's like two feet tall. So it'll fill that space really nice. And we also have a rug coming for underneath our kitchen table. So yeah, in here it looks really white and sterile and it was so beautiful during Christmas and cozy. But then when I put away all the Christmas decorations, I was like, wow, we do not have a lot of color in here. So I may get a plant for over there in between the piano and the shelf. I haven't decided yet but we are getting a big rug to go underneath the table. So I think that will look really nice. And then this has color because of his toys and stuff. And then over there, um, once I find what I want, that's an affordable price, I'm getting him a little table and chairs. I've been looking on like secondhand websites like Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Mercari, um, all the good things. Looking on there a lot, haven't found one yet that I really want. So I'm gonna wait and be picky because you know, it's okay to be picky, but that will be cute over there too. And we'll kind of fill out that space. This is my outfit of the day. I never do outfits of the day because I wouldn't consider myself a really super stylish person, 
which is funny because I totally would have like in high school and college, but then I think somewhere along the way, I just stopped like caring so much. I don't know. The mirrors are very dirty. Not that I don't care. Like I actually really do care what I look like, but I don't care about being like trendy, if that makes sense. I just wear what I think is comfy and cute and what I like instead of worrying about trends, whereas in high school and college I worried a lot more about trends and like buying everything that was in stores but now I just thrift what I like and what I think is cute regardless of if it's trendy also there's two types of people Luke's dresser my dresser I'm not saying this to bash him it's just that's that's life there's two types of people and my dresser is always perfectly clean and his always has what I call Mount Everest on it <gasps> hi Bink should we get you ready is it your turn to get ready now do you have your matching animals from your Noah's Ark? Okay. Let's go get dressed. Here comes Noah. His little walk is so cute. He always puts one arm up in the air and then he kind of waddles and it's just cute. He's gonna try to go in the bathroom though. He shreds toilet paper like it's his full-time job. Okay, you're gonna come in here. Do you wanna help mommy pick out an outfit? Let's pick. Okay, come here, we're gonna pick out an outfit. Alright, we're gonna give you a choice of pants and a choice of shirt. Do you wanna wear, let's see, it's kinda of cold out today. Do you wanna wear this shirt or this shirt? Which one do you wanna wear? This one has your ears. You wanna wear this one? Okay. And we'll do some blue socks. Mm, your light blue socks. Which socks do you want? You want all the socks? What socks do you want? Between these two? Okay, mommy's gonna pick, we'll do gray. So that you're not like straight one suit of colors. Okay, do you want, we don't have great options for pants today. You might have to wear your flare pants. Actually, we got these joggers. Okay, do you want these pants or these pants? You want those pants? Okay. Thanks for helping mommy pick out your outfit. Yeah. Should we wear your little slippers? I don't know. You don't really like having stuff on your feet. We'll put on your shoes. Okay. Let's get you dressed. It's just insane. I feel like in those first few years of life, you're just like, where did the time freaking go? Like, so... being in the car so I don't like going in the car with him but we're doing it and he does better once I get the car moving yeah he's gonna start freaking out so we're gonna go to two thrift stores depending on how much time we have and I'm probably not gonna film in there just cuz I just don't want to and if I get anything good I'll show you guys when we get home but yeah it's absolutely pouring rain today so that's always fun all right we'll see ya when we see ya all right, we just got back. I always look so frazzled when I get back from shopping with him because I'm like trying to carry all the things and carry him around and all the good stuff. My hair's falling out. But I wanted to show you guys what we got before Noah breaks everything. Oh, yes. We got some things for the Montessori life that I'll explain. Look at his little chair. And some things that I'll need to like clean up and fix, but First store was, I wouldn't say like a bust, but we didn't get anything there, nothing good. Um, and then we, ju we just went to Goodwill. And the one thing I don't like about Goodwill is for a thrifter who's been thrifting since childhood, I've really seen the prices like escalate and the lighting is horrible in here, sorry about that. But yeah, I've seen the prices escalate, which can be frustrating, oh buddy, can be frustrating when you know what like a good thrift store price is and then you know what they're charging. But anyways, it is what it is. So let me just rapid fire through this. Um, I'll talk about the Montessori stuff first. So this is just a little wooden knob rack and I'm gonna hang his coats, hat, gloves, whatever by the front door at a low level that he can reach to get his things off of this and that is very Montessori friendly. 
because around this age to 18 months, you're letting your toddler learn how to put their shoes on and off with as much help as they need while also allowing them to do as much as they can on their own. And then teaching them to hang up their coat, put their coat on, take their coat off, um, yeah, hat, gloves, hang those things up and then give them choice. So I might also put a little basket. Well, we have our shoe rack right there. So letting him pick between like rain boots and tennis shoes or you know, whatever. These are for practicing pouring. So in Montessori around this age, one of the things that is huge is um, having them learn to transfer like items from one container to the other using a spoon, using tongs as they get older and then pouring liquid. So the first thing that you start with usually besides like transferring with hand is pouring and he knows how to drink from a cup but he doesn't know how to pour so obviously i will wash these and clean these and then these are cute little size um pitchers that he can use for practicing pouring um what else for montessori this is a latch and key box that is melissa and doug so each door um you use a different key for this is something that he will use when he's a lot older I'm not sure how much this retails for, but I would guess at least 30 plus and I got it for $4.99. The one downside is it has frozen stickers on it. The lock and key, by the way, is a Montessori toy and it teaches them fine motor skills, problem solving, and then obviously learning how to use a key and lock. So I was excited to find this and I think that's everything Montessori. Although sort of this is Montessori, so, well yeah, this is. So I got another basket. I'm always thrifting any kind of small baskets to hold his toys on shelves, always thrifting those. And then these are, I'm gonna use them for home decor, but then also Montessori friendly because you wanna make um, your children's bedroom and playroom in their spaces beautiful. And the point in that is to just like teach them an appreciation for the environment around them and a respect for the environment around them. Also, around this age to 18 months, you teach them how to water a plant. These are fake, but I will be doing that with a real aloe plant that we have and let him do that with like a little small um, watering can or even one of these little pitchers I got. But these are fake, but I'm probably gonna put them in his playroom or at least one of them in his playroom. I don't know what he's mad about. Um, he's totally safe though, I have an eye on him. To just make his room look pretty and plants always make rooms look nice, not pretty. He's a boy, handsome. <laughs> to make his room look nice. So yeah, I got those. These are for him. Um, he's a picky eater. And so my sister-in-law told me that she has these little like ramekin type things that she puts sauces in for dipping that encourages her son to eat. So I'm trying that with him because I didn't have anything like this. And then I got this cute little corduroy jacket for Noah, something he'll grow into. I didn't really check over it very well to see if there's any holes or anything. It looks like it's in good shape. It is the brand Cherokee, so I think that's like an old 90s Target brand, and it's 3T, but yeah. Anyways, I just thought it was cute and would look good on him when we go to church and stuff like that, and then always trying to get in it. The last thing I haven't showed you guys that's one of my favorite purchases is this little chair. <laughs> oh, that he's very mad he can't get into. But anyway, we have like six, six or eight, I'm not really sure how many, a bunch of chairs, like the Adirondack chairs out on our porch, and I've wanted like a little small size chair for him. And obviously he's gonna need a grow just a tad to get into this. It's very close. I mean, honestly, if he turns around, he could probably figure it out. Let's see. I don't think you guys will be able to see from up there. Look, Bink, turn around. Yeah, it's just a little tall for you. Oh, look, he's so happy. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's stoked. You got your own chair? So anyway, when we sit out, side around the fire pit and sit on the deck. He'll be very happy to have his own chair and give it like a month or two and he'll fit in this thing because he grows like a weed. Are you happy in your chair? That's another Montessori thing that I want to thrift. Um, just like child size furniture, step stools, chairs, things throughout the house that he can use. And the whole idea is to not have to help them in and out of it. So like right now this is a little too big for him but he will grow into it. And I'm gonna spray paint it because it looks kind of dingy. And um, yeah, I'll spray paint it to make it look nicer. Oh, careful. <laughs> yeah, they have all kinds of good spray paint these days. <coughs> Why? You're the one that hurt yourself. Why are you doing it again? <coughs> That's annoying. No scream, Noah. No scream. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> anyway, they have all kinds of good spray paint these days. Good job getting out. That it adheres to plastic and whatnot. So, anyways, I'm gonna take off his shoes, take off his coat, get him lunch. So he's having peanut butter. Actually, this is almond butter waffle left over from this morning. And then raspberries, and then this is broccoli, garlic, parmesan pasta that we had the other night. And the pasta is hit or miss if he eats it. The broccoli, he usually doesn't, but it's covered in like butter and parmesan. So honestly, if he tasted it, he'd probably like it. And then he had a baby bell cheese. So he has fruit, veggies, pastas, um, fat, and then wheat, waffles, so complex carbs, and milk. And then I'm gonna get him water. He usually uses a, here I'll show you guys. He usually, where is it? Did I not unload it? Hmm. Oh, I put it down here. He usually uses this Contigo thermos for his milk and I love this thing because it keeps the milk cold all day long and it doesn't spill. It's one of the few cups that I have that doesn't spill. Um, and then, yeah, he's using his easy peasy plate. And then depending on how hungry he is, I might use his easy peasy bowl and give him some applesauce and yogurt mixed because he loves that. But we'll see how hungry he is. He did not eat very much breakfast this morning, so I know this looks like a ton of food, but he literally ate like maybe 100 calories worth of breakfast, which is probably why he was so fussy. And so I'm giving him a bigger meal. Anyways, he sees the yogurt and applesauce, now he wants it. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go now. Thanks for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know that this vlog feels like it was kinda all over the place, we'll see what it's like once I Oh my gosh, my hair. What is going on? It looks like I have seventh grade side bangs. Anyway, we'll see what everything looks like once I edit and, um, yeah. But, you know, I'm not striving for perfection, so it's fine. Also, I don't style my hair anymore, so this is natural and it's got some nice natural wave, but then it's also like frizz city, especially because it's raining outside today, so. Oh, if only high school Meredith saw what... <laughs> what I look like now <laughs> anyways okay so Noah's gonna finish up his lunch and then I'll put him down so now I'm actually setting off this vlog thanks for being here today and I'll see you guys probably next month in the next one all right bye